Can you tell me anything about the event? And then I have a question about Twin Flames, too, if you can clarify that for me. Twin Flames in the event are tied. There is some confusion around the designation of what a twin flame is and the connotations of physical union, which is perhaps too tied to a 3D uh, way of thinking and experiences from your 3D past and from your other lifetimes. And so we would say as far as twin flames, uh, think more of this on a divine level. This is why people speak of a union in the astral, because this is a union that is about in, entwining the heart-centered approach to your life. So, for example, if your heart-centered approach to your life and all of those that you um, interact with and your divine counterparts experience of their heart-centered approach to everything that they experience and everything they interact with and it is a mel melding of those two experiences and so they will be different parts of a whole and so when When these two come together, when these two parts of a whole, this heart-centered approach to everything comes together, it creates I can't find words for what they're showing me. It is like a white globe of energy when they when they are together, well, they're, they're whole globes of energy separately, and when they come together, it just creates this um, different kind of white. It's almost like the sun. It's stuff, it's like energy coming off the sun, only um, if you look at our sun and it's, um, you can't see the, um, plasma and things that doesn't come that far out from our sun but this is just like this comes out farther than two of these white energy things it's like really big waves just undulating off of it in all the directions and it has something to do with vibration and um, the ability to transform and create and see what else they have to say. Yes, transforming and creating. It is putting energies that fit together like a puzzle. Only it is, uh, puzzle implies there's some mystery. It is, um, it is a natural fit. And so when these two natural pieces fit naturally together, it is combining creative abilities. And so we would suggest you not think of a twin in terms of a physical union, but of a spiritual and uh, energetic union and a meshing of creative forces, a meshing of the ability to create naturally together. And this is what a twin union is. It is just a creating a co-creating abilities because it is a natural vibratory fit for these two energies to match and to help create.
And so what happens when this takes place? Uh, when a lot of these twins, as you call them, come together, the energy is magnified to such a degree that the influence is not really measurable. It is immense. And when many of these partners or groupings come together, you're expanding this creative energy more, 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 every, with every union, with every meshing of this energy. This could be considered a catalyst for the event. We, however, wish to dissuade you from thinking in terms of hierarchy or importance. Every being is of importance. Every experience. There are so many different missions. The twin mission or the coalescing of like energies mission is no more important than any other. They're all pieces that fit in the whole. But as you asked about specifically twins, this is the twin mission. And it is part of a catalyst for the event because the energy that you're calling is this remembering of your divine true nature. And when you connect this like energy and combine it to create more of this divine true nature in the physical, it is, it becomes exponential. And along with all the other missions and along with outside help, outside of your physical existence, it all coalesces like the energies of the twins that coalesce. The twin energy coalesces with the galactic beings who are helping and all the other missions that are happening on Earth. They're all coalescing to a tipping point. Many of you are already feeling the tipping point. There are those of you who see the energy. There are those who feel the energy in different ways within the physical body. There are those of you who see what is coming and you're all sharing and preparing and helping those who are afraid, in pain, waiting. Focus on your energy, what you're feeling called to. If you're feeling called about the twin mission, if you're feeling called about another mission that we haven't mentioned, if you're feeling called to share anything, whatever you feel you're dominant sense is, your dominant way of sharing, your dominant experience, and you're sharing that. That is important. And all of you together will tip the scales for all of the others who are not aware of their missions, not aware of their have forgotten who they are. Uh, from your perspective, from Amanda's perspective, she cannot see a date because her mission is not that one. 
There are others with a mission to prepare those, those who need a date. I I am seeing that my mission might be a twin. I well might be. It's it's a twin mission. <laughs> I've been in denial. Okay, well thank you for that very much.